Hey guys, it's Ted and Maggie's here as well. Uh, today we're going to do the leg mini workout, which uh, consists of four exercises done for one minute each, back to back to back without resting. And uh, then if you've still got a lot of gas, you can keep going into a second set. If you're uh, totally wrecked, take a breather, get some uh, energy back. And then if you feel it, you can do it again. Uh, the four exercises for the mini workout are going to be the walking lunge, which is just like the lunge standing in place, but you're going to continue forward. If you put your hand on your leg, you can kind of be a little bit more stable if you're noticing some, some knee instability. Uh, but we want to ideally try to do everything under the power of our legs. Um, so just like with the, the lunges in place, we want to step so that our knee passes kind of over our toes, but doesn't go past them. So when we lunge, we look kind of like that. Uh, the next exercise is the uh, depth jump or the depth stop. This is probably a new one for a lot of you. Uh, it needs a bench or a, a low chair. And what you're going to do is step up onto it, step off, and try to absorb that impact with your legs. And that's called a depth stop. And for the depth jump, uh, we're gonna do the depth stop and then launch out of it. So we step off and blast off straight up. So when we're doing it uh, for this uh, workout, we're gonna step off, go up, quickly step back up, and repeat over and over again for that whole minute. Um, next exercise we have is the one-legged glute bridge. That is an exercise that you do on your back. We're gonna put one leg down just like this and have one leg straight out in front of us. And we're gonna press up off of that bent leg and really squeeze our glute. And we're gonna do that three or five times, depending on kind of how quickly you're going and uh, how tired it's making you. And we'll switch legs. Just try to make sure you get the same number of times on each leg. Perfect. Um, so the final exercise uh, is called the penguin jump. It's, uh, it's just a little calf jump over and over again. And we're just going to launch off of our toes. And we're just going, 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 going for the whole minute. So uh, we want to really focus on using just just our feet to propel ourselves up with our ankles and try to keep our knees out of it. Uh, so without further ado, Maggie is going to, uh, to start doing our workout here. I'll get the uh, timer fired up. Yeah, we're gonna start with walking lunges. So uh, Maggie, whenever you're ready, All right. let's go. One thing to remember on your walking lunges is when you need to turn around, it's important to know which leg you just did a lunge on. So keep track of left and right so that when you spin, you know which way to go again. Right now, we're just trying to step off. We don't need to 
jump, uh, just to step off and let our legs absorb before we bounce right up. Now, if you're having uh, stability issues with the depth jumps, uh, just go with the depth stop. Try and walk off and absorb that impact. And eventually we'll build up some stability in the knees and the hips to let us continue to, to go further and further up. switch into the uh, glute bridge now. So remember we can do this with either uh, three reps at a time or five reps at a time. We just want to remember what we're doing so that uh, we do an equal number on both sides. get to the top, it's really important to try and squeeze that butt muscle, your glute, as hard as you can and really get the most out of the top of that range. You're doing great, Maggie. That left leg for her right now, the straight leg, uh, it's not really doing anything except providing some counterbalance. We've got about five seconds left. And now we're gonna go into the penguin jump. So remember, this is just a, a high intensity calf jump over and over again. We're uh, landing on our feet and blasting up with our toes, trying to keep our knees out of play on this exercise. Uh, at the beginning, it's gonna be real fun. Uh, it's actually one of the more enjoyable exercises, but by the end, it gets pretty tired especially if you're going for round two. Uh, a lot of us don't really work our calf muscles all that much. How are you feeling, Meg? Really try to blast off those toes. Get, get straight pointy toes once you're up in the air. Yeah. Yeah, way harder. Got about 10 more seconds left in the first round. You're welcome to uh, either just do one round or you can go for both uh, for a full workout. You can also split the two sets and take a little rest in between if you're, uh, you're working towards getting both in one session. All right, would you like to do, yeah. do it again? All right, Maggie's going for round two. Gonna pay attention to uh, how long she does these lunges for. We did a minute and a half last time. We'll just uh, we'll try for a minute this time. Be a little better on the clock. <laughs> Sorry, man. These aren't super hard times. We don't have to push exactly to a minute uh, if we, we're feeling really exhausted, but it's best that we set a goal time and try and hit that time because you're always gonna tell yourself you're tired. And if you have a number to measure it against, then you know, oh, I could push for, for 15 more seconds. I know I can do that. So uh, we're getting ready to switch into the depth jump again right now. That's yeah. <laughs> about 60%. As you get more tired with your depth jumps, it's important to really be sure about your landing and to look when you step up because your legs will get tired and you don't even realize that, uh, that you're about to tip right over the bench. That is if you switch legs stepping up. Yeah, get a little... Uh, It'll work on both sides. Got about 20 more seconds of these. If you find that uh, you 
just can't blast off anymore, it is totally okay to switch down to the depth stops. You got 10 more seconds. All right, let's go into the glute bridge. The one-legged glute bridge. Really focus on driving those hips way up there. You want to imagine there's like a rope pulling your hips up. You want to get it as high as it can possibly go. Find these are a little too easy for you still. You can uh, try to squeeze for one second at the top of each rep. Uh, only do that if you're overly confident in your abilities with these though, because it takes a lot of time. And since this is a timed exercise, we want to make the most of it. Just got about five more seconds. And time for the penguin jumps. As you do these more and more, you'll kind of get the feel for, uh, for what your feet need to do to really get the most out of it. Uh, you want to try and land about flat if you can and then really blast off with those toes so that they're pointing uh, straight down at the ground if we can help it when we're up in the air. Got about 30 more seconds of penguin jump and we'll be done with the leg workout, guys. Great job, Maggie. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. We're done. Nice work. Good work, Maggie. Thanks. Good work, guys. Stay safe out there.